Hi you and welcome to this week's video. Um, I've got a series of videos lined up due to the haul that I'm about to go through. Um, so today is a haul video of what everything I've got from the Bug and the Reptile Hut in Chelmsford. I will link down their Facebook page. I'm not sure if they've got a website currently because they are a small, um, private, I think privately owned reptile group. The, the guys in there are amazing. They've got a section for bugs and they've got a section for reptiles. I shopped in both. May have come away with a few things that I didn't plan on going on there, in there for, but... So, in this video we are going to do a haul of what, everything that I've got for both my Pitted Dragon, my Water Dragon, and then everything else, um, and my new friend. So I'm going to start with the bags of substrate and other bits and pieces that I've got to finish off the other half of Aragon's bioactive enclosure that was in last week's video to show he, his upgrade. I will link that in the top corner for you guys. But I've got some this, the Earth Mix. Um, it's got nutrients and stuff to help um, get my Crenop crew grow, going again and some plants that I'm going to eventually do some research putting in. I just need to get a lighting system so that he's got a proper lighting system in there. Um, he's got his UV bulb at the top, so I should clarify, he's got his UV bulb at the top, but about halfway down it gets very dark, and if I put anything in the way of live plants in there, it's just going to die. So I want to put a few live plants in there, but put some lighting down there to give them as much opportunity as possible to grow. I've also got some bio drain mesh. Um, this will be separating my drainage layer from the substrate that I'll be mixing together. I've bought two just in case. I'd rather have extra. I can use it for other things if needs be. Let's see if I can move these. Yeah. Some clay balls. Um, these will be the drainage layer. These are a must. Especially if you've got. Um, these are a must, especially if you've got a tropical species because they will soak up all the water and then slowly release it back into the air. Um, keeping the humidity levels up there, obviously you can then throw some leaf litter on top of your substrate and everything else. I've already, <sighs> I've already opened this, but in here I've got some cocoa fibre which will be mixed in with the earth mix to mix it out, bulk it out a little bit because I wasn't sure whether I had enough but I've also got other uses for this stuff because I've picked up some more um, isopods. I've got two packs of isopods. Which ones are these? Ah, so I've got some crystal whites. I need to actually google what the proper name is. Apparently I've got spring tiles in here. Okay, I'm not complaining. Come here buddy, I'm not going to hurt you, I promise. So this is a isopod, this is the crystal whites, um, they will be the living bioactive crew for my bearded dragon. Um, they can tolerate a slightly dry climate but what I will be doing is obviously keeping an eye on the humidity because the bearded dragon needs to be under 30%. It's offering on the cooler end little pockets of moisture for them to retreat into when they need to to rehydrate. Um, and then the idea is they'll be able to spread out for the rest of the enclosure. I won't be putting them in there straight away because I need um, basically my culture to expand. I've got about 30 individuals, but my concern is if I stick all 30 in there, she's going to hunt them and eat them because she isn't their typical bearded dragon that is lazy and does nothing. She's still quite active even with her back problems. So just to be safe, I'm going to set up a culture in a tub and then I'm going to um, have two. I can have a culture of pets and then a culture of in her viv. Just in case she does eat them, I can then always replenish. Now these are, these will be strictly pets, but I've also picked up some panda kings. These are a particularly shy species. So I'm not hurting them in any way, shape or form, but I've got some panda king isopods. Uh, these will be strictly pets only because they are a little bit on the more expensive side and basically I don't want any of my lizards eating my money in that sense I mean it, 
Again, if they do explode out of population, they are great feeders because isopods have a high calcium content, which obviously with li any lizard, um, they need that for their bone structure. And then I have one more little guy. He's a little bit on the shy side right now. I picked up. I actually need to Google his scientific name because I know that they're referred to by their scientific name rather than their common name. But you're going to focus on him. Not on me. Oh, there we go. I picked up a juvenile. There's a fruit fly on there for him. It's feeding day to day. A juvenile jumping spider. Um, he's about third or fourth molt, not quite adult, he's about sub-adult, um, he is male, my sister actually picked up a female, I don't, we have spoken about pairing them, I'm a little bit nervous because obviously mine will get eaten, but this is Ricky, um, the little monkey the first day I had him, I opened a lid to feed him and he got out and disappeared straight across my table, I managed to track him down because he hid underneath my table, but I didn't walk out with the intentions of getting him, but I couldn't resist. And my sister's got a female, she is yellow, called Lulu. Um, like I said, we are planning on possibly pairing the two of them when they're older. The minute um, he's a sub-adult, like I said, he's living in this container. Uh, in the next couple of weeks, I'm waiting for him to maybe molt once. He should be due a mole any time now. His container again is bioactive, that's why some of the stuff was open. He's got clay balls down here and some cocoa fibre, um, moss and leaf litter on the top to try and help hold the humidity. He took a locust for the first time yesterday. Didn't want to introduce anyone to him until I knew that he was eaten, but he took a small locust this morning actually. I'm filming this in the afternoon. Um, so I know that he's now happy to eat and what he's eating as well. I've got a few things that you can could have tried. I've got fruit flies, which is what he's got in there as well. Um, I've got some curly winged house flies. He could have had some of my dairy cows if he wanted to. It was a case of just trial and error to find out what he liked. Um, so I'm going to leave him in peace just to continue to digest that. I might get him out tomorrow. But uh, that was everything from my whole and oh actually I picked up some boulders I'm not going to show you the boulders or the duck eggs or whatever that I bought one they're heavy and two they're rocks but these are for the rocks in Aragon's water tank which again I showed you um, in last week's video uh, last week's video so I'm going to wash them off in a little while and set them all up but that was that was everything yeah Oh, actually, a live plant. Let me just grab that. Uh, I just bought this hanging basket of fly flowers. I'm going to be hanging this from the top of Aragon's vivarium so that he can have some live plants in there for one. Out of the humidity, um, this can be hung from the top, which the lighting from the top will be enough for them to survive and hopefully thrillish. And with it hanging down like this, it will start drooping down obviously I will trim it back as needed but that's it that is now officially everything that I bought yesterday um, I am going to one transfer over my dairy cows into the new tub and then start setting up the isopods the beer dragon and going through there I will film everything so that you can see I might film the separate idiot videos of the isopod setups of then the bearded dragon and then the Chinese water dragon because they're all going to be different different things that I need to do um, but I'm going to leave this video here and next one will either be an isopod, beard dragon or a Chinese water dragon depending on where we end up I would like to thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time, bye!